the Lord chose him for himself as high priest and opening his treasure house, made him rich in all good things. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who chose blessed John to preside over your whole people and benefit them by word and example, keep safe, we pray, by his intercession, the shepherds of your church, along with the flocks entrusted to, to their care, and direct them to the way of eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When Christ freed us, he meant us to remain free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. It is I, Paul, who tell you this. If you allow yourselves to be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you at all. With all solemnity, I repeat my warning. Everyone who accepts circumcision is obliged to keep the whole law. But if you do look to the law to make you justified, then you have separated your souls from Christ and have fallen from grace. Christians are told by the Spirit to look to faith for those rewards that righteousness hopes for, since in Christ Jesus, whether you are circumcised or not, or not makes no difference. What matters is faith that makes its power felt through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord. Lord, let your love come upon me the saving help of your promise. Do not take the word of truth from my mouth, for I trust in your decrees. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. I shall walk in the path of freedom for I see your precepts. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord. Your commands have been my delight. These I have loved. I will worship your commands and love them and ponder your statutes. Let your loving kindness come to me, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and active. It probes the thoughts and motives of our heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus had just finished speaking when a Pharisee invited him to dine at his house. He went in and sat down at the table. The Pharisee saw this and was surprised that he had not first washed before the meal. But the Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, you clean the outside of cup and plate, while inside yourselves you are filled with extortion and wickedness. Fools, did not he who made the outside make the inside too? Instead, 
give alms from what you have, and then indeed everything will be clean for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's quite a lot in the Bible about uh, Jesus and meals and washing. Uh, sometimes uh, critical about uh, not having his feet washed, and and but in this in this case, uh, uh, surprising the Pharisee uh, by not washing before the meal. Thought I'd have a we in the mass we we have a have a washing, and I thought I'd look at some at parts of that uh, from the order of mass. Uh, Number 26. So it has, uh, uh, so the, yeah, the altar's been prepared with, uh, with the bread and wine having been put in it. And after this, the priest, bowing profoundly, says quietly, With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we, may we be accepted, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. And then 27. If appropriate, he also incenses the offerings, the cross, and the altar. A deacon or other minister then incenses the priest and the people. 28. Then the priest standing at the side of the altar washes his hands, saying quietly, Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And the general instruction of the Roman Missal expands a bit on that. Um, After the prayer in spiritu humilitatis, with humble spirit and contrite heart, or after the incensation, the priest washes his hands, standing at the side of the altar, and as the minister pours the water, says quietly, Lave me, Domini, wash me, O Lord. So, uh, so basically a minister is required in, in the Mass uh, in order to be following that, that part of the general instruction. That uh, if you have a mass with just the priest on his own, then he he can't be washing his hands at, as it directs there, where with where the minister pours the water. Brothers and sisters, as we now now make our prayer for our community and for the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and our own needs but for the entire Christian people. For all who do not yet believe, let us implore the giver of all spiritual gifts. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For favourable weather and abundant fruits from the earth, let us entreat the Lord, the ruler of the world. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, let us call upon the judge of all humanity. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For ourselves and those close to us who await the Lord's goodness, let us call upon the mercy of Christ the Lord. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Incline your mercifully to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.